This is a subjective story about the evolution of the way we use AI to write code. The subjective part comes from the fact that there are tens of AI coding tools and several ways of using them. I only focus on those that I think were the best and therefore I used or considered using. Billions of dollars are invested in helping developers, also in leaving them without work. But that is the quiet part, even if some startups are stupid enough to say the quiet part out loud. Luckily, today's models have a jagged frontier and can't develop for too long without a human correcting them. The first time I heard about AI algorithms was in university, around 2003. I also heard about evolutionary algorithms in that lecture. I said, these two sound interesting, I should have a closer look. I never took a closer look. But I saw what the AI could do before 2022 and thought it was very bad. I thought nothing useful would come out of it in my lifetime. Turns out, some people figured out the reason it was bad was because models were too small. A couple of innovations later, an AI blew up at the end of 2022. I changed my mind about AI around October 2022 when I first tried GitHub Copilot. It would do a good job at suggesting code autocompletions, way above anything I saw before. Then I discovered you can create the code blueprint by using method calls and method definitions, and the AI could fill the implementation. I could even put comments together with my method signature, and it would implement it exactly how I want it. I said that this is the biggest thing I saw in the last 20 years of programming. Programming will never be the same. I had no idea how far we would be three years later. The paradox is that at the same time, it feels like it's not that far. Then, at the end of 2022, I think, I first tried ChatGPT. I was completely blown away. I realized AI is definitely not crap. It is possibly the future of everything. I remember crypto kept trying to place itself as the new hot thing in IT, but it couldn't actually deliver much, even if it ate billions of dollars. On the bright side, money were going to developers for trying different projects, as opposed to AI where money goes to graphic cards. The crypto people were a bit jealous of AI back then, because instead of people talking about crypto in tech, everyone was talking about AI in tech. They were saying that AI is just a text generator, not that useful. It doesn't actually do anything. Of course, that opinion, I think, is almost dead today. It's funny how strongly it minimizes how important text is. And of course, we have powerful non-text niche models now. They do things that seemed magic before. But I digress. So here we are in mid-2023. We are using GitHub Copilot and ChatGPT in parallel. There was also this struggle for a long time between companies and developers on whether it is okay to use or not AI. All companies were presenting themselves as AI companies, but had no idea how to use AI and were too scared to let developers use it. They were moving incredibly slow, especially big companies. They were scared about AI putting bugs into the code, about giving our code to the model operators, and about the license of the code generated by AI. In the meantime, I see those fears kind of vanished. I remember an instance where I was pushing hard to use more AI. Management was pushing back. And then I discovered the junior was putting our code in all the AIs imaginable. Of course, you don't want to give secrets and sensitive information to the AI if it's not running locally, but you do want to leverage it. So you were in a gray area when using it for work. You changed your code to make it generic. You changed variable names. You removed sensitive info. You put it in ChatGPT. You got a generic solution. You changed names again and plugged it into your code. It was better than using Stack Overflow anyway. Then in 2024, some researchers that left OpenAM AI created Claude. And it was good. I remember hearing in an interview that the main philosophy difference with Claude was that they let the model self-critique and revise its own outputs, according to a constitution. We eventually got Claude Sonnet from them, and it has been the top model for programming for a very long time. We also got better versions of Gemini from Google in 2024 that were sometimes able to fix code problems for me that Claude and ChatGPT could not. We still had GitHub Copilot in our editor. We got AI models directly in the ID that had access to the code base, and we could chat with them and ask them to do things. IntelliJ was my favorite ID by far, so I tried one of the first versions of their AI. It was so bad I can't convince myself to try it again now. It's one of those cases where a bad MVP can be detrimental. But overall, I was very happy with my new AI tools. What a time to be alive. Surely nothing better could come along. Then, in the second half of 2024, I was blown away again by the Composer feature from Cursor. It was able to edit multiple files in one prompt. This resulted in even less mess and context switching when writing code. The models were also improving a lot. 
but not as much as I feared. It was the end of 2024 and AI didn't replace developers. The job market was worse than I ever saw in my life, but there were still developers. The vast majority of them still had jobs. Then, in 2025, I first saw the agent modding cursor. Again, I was blown away. I had been writing code for 20 years. Major changes came once every 3 to 4 years, and they weren't so big. An IDE change, a language change, a framework change, a process change. Now, I changed my entire way of writing code twice per year. Agent was not the default mode of cursor back then, so it was like finding a magic power. The agent would work in a loop and solve more complex problems than the AI could before. But models, even though many times are like a genius, are still laughable bad other times. This is the AI jagged frontier. Even with agents, it still fails ridiculously if left unattended. We learned how important a good and small context is. But I still had to babysit the agent and follow all its thinking, so I can guide it back to reason. Then, the plan way of working appeared. You make a plan. Easiest is to do it with AI. You correct and guide all the architectural decisions before the AI actually implements any code. When the AI follows a plan, it produces less surprises. Many AI tools, including Cursor, implemented the plan workflow directly in their interface. So here we are. Developers still exist. The job market is the worst I've seen in my 20 years career by far. But it's because of money going to purchase graphical cards that are used to train AI, not because of AI replacing us. If the trend continues, we will change our way of working with AI again in 2026 once or twice. There is a Chinese proverb, may you live in interesting times. While it sounds like a blessing, it is typically used ironically and is generally understood as a curse. The actual Chinese phrasing is sometimes attributed to this saying, it is better to be a dog in a time of peace than a man in a time of chaos. I would say that we are men living interesting times.